What is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate you being here. We are back in my 2007 350Z HR, and I was driving the rev up this morning, the red 350Z that we've had for a long time now, and I was noticing that the oil pressure seemed a little bit lower than I've honestly have ever seen it. So we're right outside the house right now. We're gonna jump into the red car. We're gonna start it up here in a second. I'm gonna show you guys the oil pressure because it's a little bit warm from driving it earlier, and it just seemed super low, and it's really worrying me. So I don't really wanna drive that car until I know for a fact that the oil pressure is good. I went to Affordable Automotive, and and they told me that the oil pressure, they tested it manually and they said it was fine. Like they, they did a mechanical test on their oil pressure and they said it was fine. So it might just be the gauge, but let's jump over there right now. I got the key right here. All right, in the red car. I will never, I will never understand, but honestly, I think it's because we did that like smoke bomb thing to kind of clean the scent of the car, but this car smells like lemon pepper wings. I have no idea that every time I get in here, I'm like, ooh, that sounds really good. Like lemon pepper wings sound pretty good, but okay. Let's check the oil pressure. Like I said, it should be pretty warm from earlier. The OG. All right, so we're gonna let it warm up a little bit. It's been it's been a few hours since I drove it earlier, but once it's warm, I'll show you the oil pressure and then you can see what I'm talking about because it's pretty it's pretty low. It looks like it's sitting between like five and 10 PSI, like seven or something. So once it warms up, I'll show you. All right, so while this thing's warming up, let's do a walk around, yeah? Last night I took it to the car wash and if you swipe your card, you get like 20 minutes for like $5. So I had to, I washed it for 20 entire minutes last night. We did all the wax and everything and it turned out so good. I actually went down through here and I wiped all the, the dust that accumulates from all the, the exhaust smoke and everything. So it's actually, it's actually pretty clean right now, which is really cool. And the wheels, man. Oh, we got to turn the headlights on. All right. Yes looks so good. So while we were at True Motive the other day, they actually informed me that the front, the front suspension is basically done. Like there's no more shocks in the front. That's why this thing rides so rough. So we need coilovers for sure. Like that is the next thing you need to do besides, you know, the valve cover gasket and stuff like that. But this thing, this thing actually runs pretty solid besides that little low RPM weirdness, but it only does it for the first like five or 10 minutes of this thing running. And then once the 10 minutes is up, it kind of runs fine again. So I don't really know. It's the weirdest thing. I probably just need to take it to the Nissan dealership, but they're going to charge me like three grand to fix this thing. That's my guess. So I don't really know. The paint, it needs, it needs some new, it needs love. We're going to get there. We're gonna get there. But this thing, let's see where we're at as far as the warm. So just sitting here idling, it's probably gonna take like 10 or 15 minutes to get to the oil pressure that I was seeing earlier. So let's, I'm gonna take it down the street, you know, get it up to temp, and then I'll show you. I need my hat though. Check out this FRS. That thing is crazy. Dang, that fitment though. Kind of makes me want to bag this thing. park it and find out and then we're gonna take the HR to go get some food and maybe a little bit more oil for this thing because I think it's down a little bit I, I should have checked it before we left totally forgot to do that all right just park this one while this one's cooling down or you know getting back to idle let's start this one up so it's warm and we're ready to go Ooh. cold start Shoot. sounds good though Let's go see if this thing has calmed down. Check where the oil pressure is at right now. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, that's pretty low. That's pretty low. I, I mean, that's like 10 and it should be, I mean, it should be like 14 at idle. It might even be like seven to be honest with you. So I don't know. I'm gonna shut it down for now. And then this week, I'm probably gonna have True Motive look at it. I'm gonna probably bring it over to True Motive, have them hook it up and check the mechanical like oil pressure to see because the gauge might just be reading low, but I feel like it didn't always used to read that low. And when it's really warm, like if I've, if I've done a few pulls, I mean, it sits like just above zero, which is terrifying. So 
and it, it didn't used to do that i'm not gonna lie so let's go pick up some oil in the hr and then i'm gonna get some food as well because i'm starving and then once we get back this thing will probably be cool enough to where we can put oil in it and check it and everything and get it topped off because it might be down a little bit of oil as well so all right let's go do it just went through the el pollo loco drive through and i just realized or it just occurred to me i think i eat this like three times a week i'm not gonna lie you get the three tacos with guacamole and a large drink for like 750 look at that shade right there how does one consume food in a 350z you were asking it's simple chair all the way back windows either up or down it's up to you trash to the side right and then right where you're at is where i put my phone so right here in the cubby i'll put my wallet fold it upwards like this now some tj hunt so that just sits right there. And then what you do is you can take your drink, lap it, or you can stick it if it's small enough, you put it in there. But honestly, this drink is too big. So put it on the floor for a sec, close this up. And you got like a little plate. Got my tacos here, all my salsas, and they give you chips too on the side. Can you beat it for $7? No, you can't, you can't beat it. I'm gonna eat this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I decided to half the size of my plate here so I can still keep my drink. We're good. All right, all done eating. No blinker. Nice, nice, nice. Huh. Oh man. All right, I am full. Those tacos were good. Jumping in this thing after being in the rev up for 10 minutes, I mean, I don't know what it is, but the HR is just easier to drive. I think it's the clutch. The clutch is easier to push down. I don't know why that is, but it's just easier to push down than the rev up, or at least my rev up. I'm not sure if all rev ups are like that. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Let's get some 5W30. What they don't tell you is owning a 350Z is a, it's like a $10 monthly subscription to the oil factory. It's kind of amazing. There we are. Let's run in. $11.99, oh my god. When I bought my Z, this was $8.99. What's going on? 13 bucks. I forgot there's tax. Dang, this thing looks, I mean, it doesn't look too bad in the shade, you know? Just don't look too close. But I'd say, I'd say from like right here, if I saw that thing, I'd be like, dang, man. Then as you get closer, it's like, oh, dang, man. <laughs> Valvoline, full synthetic, high mileage for 75,000 miles or more. The car's at 92,000 miles, which is still high mileage, but the piston rings are a huge reason that car burns oil. It's kind of like from the factory that way. And they fixed it for the HR. That's why this one doesn't burn any oil, which is amazing because I don't need two Z's that burn oil. So, I mean, as the thing ages, the piston rings can only get worse, right? So I figured whatever lubricant or extra additives they put inside the high mileage oil can only do good, right? Like they can only help. So, oh, I need my seatbelt, man. What am I doing? <laughs> so much fun so we're gonna go back right now we're gonna top off the rev up just to make sure it has the oil it needs and then maybe we'll end this video with a little cruise around town just because the sun's kind of going down and it's just so nice out right now i love running errands to get these things fixed like go and get oil and get gas and all that but it's just fun to drive them around sometimes with no no point b just cruise you know clean all right let's check it out oil so let's just check where the oil is in this one lemon pepper wings all right oh i need the funnel i think it's on the other side this thing is so clean right now from that car wash yesterday usually don't need my funnel but when it's a full bottle like that i hate spilling it so all right let's check the oil here it should be down about half of a quart oh man picked a bad day to wear a white shirt right I would say if that's the H and that's the L, it's, I mean, it's just below half or maybe right at the halfway mark. Let me check one more time. Yep, same thing. Right at about that halfway point, so. I was on there. These engines create so much pressure. All right, so let's dump like just under half of this in and we'll, it should be good. A little more. Oh, the wind, bro. Okay, that looks good. Extra splash for good luck. 
So this is where I keep my oil. I'm gonna put my oil behind the seat because these things just don't seal very well. And then I put this just underneath the seat because you know it's pretty oily. And then you slide the seat all the way back just like that and it actually will hold the bottle of oil there so you can take like I mean, you can go to a track day and that oil that oil bottle is not going anywhere which is amazing all right this back on there all right and that's that so i'll pay i'm probably going to come out and check that tomorrow morning just to make sure that it's you know looking good and if it's a little low then i'll add some more but in the next video we're going to be testing this i added this oil catch can a few months ago and i have not actually seen how much oil it's caught so we're going to be testing to see how much oil is in there i'm not quite sure i'm kind of interested i've definitely put a few thousand miles on this thing since then so it'll be cool to see other than that this thing is good boom Man, these things look so cool next to each other. Sheesh. Dang, man. Seeing these cars next to each other really makes me want to fix that one up a little bit. All right. What's up? We made it just before sunset. It is so nice out right now. 63 degrees. We got the heat on. We're in a 350Z HR and we're hitting every red light. It's just like the recipe for an amazing night. I'm gonna give it the give it the beans here, you know what I mean? Oh man. It looks like we're low on gas, but I promise you we have like at least half of a tank right now. The gas meter and this thing just does not work the best. I think it's because it sat for like three years, got all messed up, so I have to fix that. And that requires like going into the gas tank, which I haven't had time to do, but. Oh, the backfires. This just sounds so good. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of people. Um, let's go left, let's go left. sunset in here one time I think I mean hopefully oh oh that doesn't even look real oh. go left no this is right sorry <laughs> I'm dyslexic like a race car man like it really does I went to this high school right here oh the gas light just came on it says 33 miles till empty but it's not it's not true I do need to get it fixed because I don't like always looking at under half of a tank even if it's full the maximum it shows me is three quarters of a tank so anyways thank you so much for joining me in today's video I really hope you enjoyed it we are gonna be battling and continuing to try and figure out what is wrong with the Rev 350z I'm honestly I'm thinking it's just the gauge that's maybe going out at this point it's about a 17 year old gauge so it's not very surprising that it might be going out but my intrusive thoughts won on that one we are going to be testing the oil catch can to see if it's caught any oil i am honestly really excited to see how much oil it's caught just to see if it's worth it or not so hit the subscribe button join the family if you have not yet already also turn on post notifications so you do not miss my next upload when it goes live thank you so much once again for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video